Hey there, everybody. Ryan Haley here. Wanted to take another uh, minute of your time today to to kind of just uh, share with you something I'm thinking about. And um, this, I think, uh, is, is pretty timely with what we saw last night in the Super Bowl. Um, not everybody watches the Super Bowl. I understand that. Um, uh, it feels like everybody you know, has something to say about, it, especially if you look on social media. Uh, it's it's all over the place here today, and I've got a little bit of green on um, from the great state of Pennsylvania, uh, not too far from Philadelphia. So so we are wearing a little bit of green here for those Eagles, uh, which is great to see after all these years um, some success. But what I wanted to talk about here real quick is um, something that that kind of came up from the Super Bowl, and you know I, I, last week I reached out to you a little bit with uh, with regard to success and um, you know mastering your mornings uh, and, and one thing I noticed here with the Super Bowl I think one of the greatest stories I'm always looking for the personal interest stories but is Nick Foles uh, the quarterback there for the Eagles and um, <clears throat> you know my takeaway from this whole thing is he five weeks ago six weeks ago um, had no idea of what his future was going to bring and, and what it may hold and um you know, he, he had, a, had a rough go over the last couple of years. He was with the Eagles. He bounced around to a couple of different teams. At one point, he even actually thought about uh, getting out of football. But he stuck with it. He continued to prepare. Um, he kept himself in great shape, signed with the Eagles as a backup. Um, <clears throat> and if it could have been very easy for him just to just to just ride through the year. You know, the, the person he replaced ultimately um, was on track to possibly have an MVP season. Um, one of the best players, quarterbacks in the entire NFL. And really he had no chances of ever seeing the field. But what happens? Uh, opportunity struck, and um, unfortunately for the starting quarterback, Wentz, um, he got hurt, and Foles, Foles' number got called. And so what did he do? He stepped up to the occasion. He did continue to prepare, even though he wasn't the starting quarterback prior to that. He continued to prepare. He was ready for success. He accepted success. He kept his eyes open and, and accepted it. And what did he do? He took the team to the Super Bowl, winning this, the only Super Bowl in Philadelphia Eagles history. Um, and I think the rest will be history for him. Um, certainly, you know, a big contract uh, in his future and, and hopefully uh, continued years of success. But I look at that and try to relate it back to, to success and, and relate it back to real estate. Real estate's very similar. Uh, it's one of those things is that we never know who, who could be on the other end of an email, who could, who'd, who could uh, input their information into a lead page and or give us a call. Um, we just never know who it's going to be. And, and, and success could come up like that. So you could be having a rough day. Things aren't going great. All of a sudden, you got this great opportunity. And, and if you're not ready for it, it's going to pass you by. And it can happen so quickly. In a blink of an eye, you can go from, you know, things are just kind of even keel, not, not lighting the world on fire, to having huge success. And so my takeaway from, from, from that experience is, is you got to continue to have faith, continue to be ready, continue to train, and um, can continue to be looking for success. Because ultimately it can pop up like that and you better be ready to take on that opportunity to lead you to success and ultimately change your life. So that's my takeaway from the Super Bowl. Hope everybody enjoyed it. I know everybody else has got their own takeaways. Uh, some people are just happy to see Tom, Bar Tom Brady lose. Um, while others are just extremely ecstatic that the Eagles have finally done it. So hope you all have a great day. That's my take for the day. Uh, take care and we will talk to you soon. See ya.